Good afternoon, Professor. Can you hear me? Good afternoon. I can hear. Everything is fine. Thank you very much for connecting with us. Uh, I'm really glad much. for you. Uh, I'm really glad for be, uh, about being here today with you. Thank you very much. Uh, I'm Radosław Koszewski. <clears throat> Together with me, uh, there is Piotr Kaminski, the president of Queen Hedwig Scholarship Foundation, uh, and uh, Marta Ambroziak uh, from EY. Uh, who was taking care of, uh, of the scholarship in the last year and also, as you can see, uh, this year. <clears throat> uh, you nice will have you. Uh, five minutes uh, to present yourself. Nice uh, to meet you. Uh, each of us will have up to three minutes uh, for Q&A uh, and great. then each of us 20 seconds uh, for the feedback. Yes, great. Thank you so much. So my name... Okay, so the floor is mine. Thank you so much. My name is Krystyna Potoczna and uh, I'm a teacher at the second high school uh, in Poznań. And before I start my presentation, I would like to thank you for this opportunity to take part in this uh, interview. I believe that the idea of Queen Hedwig scholarship um, has already proven to be a game changer for, uh, for the students. And now I hope that it will um, prove to be a massive inspiration for teachers as well. And in my short presentation, I would like to address two major issues. And um, first of all, I would like to tell you something about my professional life and what makes me, I believe, a good student group um, leader. Uh, and also, I would like to talk about the impact that I hope that the visit to the Silicon Valley will have on my work as a teacher. Um, so, uh, as far as my education and my professional life are concerned, I hold an MA degree um, from uh, the English faculty uh, at Adam Mickiewicz University in Poznań, where I majored in Canadian literature. And it is since 2009 uh, that I teach uh, in the second high school here in Poznań. And uh, I teach English as a foreign language in the standard Polish program. Uh, but uh, for the past two years, I have also been teaching um, theory of knowledge, which is a new subject to me, but uh, it has proven to be massively um, interesting to me. And in short, this is a course in epistemology. So the basic question that uh, we tackle is, uh, how do we know what we know? And um, I believe that this is in fact, quite a pertinent question when it comes to the Silicon Valley um, as well. Now, if I was to say what I believe makes me a good uh, student group leader is that I do have the relevant experience, namely, I have been abroad with my students. Uh, for example, as a class teacher, I went to London with, uh, with my students, students for a five day tour of London. Uh, also annually, we hold this international school exchange uh, with a school from the Netherlands. So it means that we host the students here in Poznan and then we pay them a visit in Amersfoort in the Netherlands. Um, so it means that I kind of, I, I know what, uh, what, you know, going abroad with students involves. When it comes to um, my personal qualities, well, I have this habit of, um, you know, thinking ahead. So I'm trying to map things out carefully uh, before an event is taking place. And I also try to um, bear in mind what might go wrong. <laughs> so I'm trying you know, to, to think of plan B um, as well. Um, when it comes to um, the way that I would like to use this um, stay in the Silicon Valley in my work as a teacher is that primarily I would like to use it in my theory of knowledge classes. One of the big, big themes that we discuss is knowledge and technology. So we deal with um, such issues at, uh, as uh, what the role of uh, technology in the development of knowledge is, whether it's possible to produce knowledge without technology, or whether it is um, true that technology might also limit the access to knowledge in certain areas of our globe. So. Um, I would like to um, use this chance of uh, being in the Silicon Valley to um, gain more insight into the if, uh, into these issues, and also provide my students with more up-to-date um, um, coverage of of the of the topics that are connected to knowledge and um, and technology. And uh, just to sum up, um, I'm of the opinion that a good as, um, student group leader is 
and more broadly speaking also is a facilitator. And a facilitator is a person that makes matters easier. And, um, and it is this role of a facilitator that helps students to reach their full potential. And um, I would like to be a member of Queen Hedwig's scholarship team just to make sure that, uh, that the students actually do reach their full potential and that they will use this time um, in the Silicon Valley to, um, to grow, to develop and uh, to build a, uh, a good um, network of meaningful um, contacts that they will use for the future and that uh, I, will help, uh, I will help to make this an unforgettable and um, a formative experience indeed for them. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Uh, now is the time for questions, uh, Piotr. Thank you, Professor. Uh, um, uh, really uh, amazing presentation. Thank if you so you much. Be so kind to, 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 to share with us some ideas. How would you like to, to, to um, present knowledge to, to the community of your school, of your um, students and, and colleagues from, from, the, from the school and the other professors? Thank you so much for your question. Now, um, starting from September, I'll be a class teacher. So it means that I'll be in charge of, of this uh, class and this will be a pre-IB class. So it means that I will have a direct chance to, to talk to, uh, to students and to encourage them um, to take part in, uh, in this uh, program. And um, so, um, and obviously I will, you know, use uh, this up-to-date knowledge in my theory of knowledge classes. So this is the kind of student interaction part of, uh, of uh, the impact that uh, the scholarship might have on me. But I also thought that I could uh, make like a short, um, um, a short, um, say a short lecture uh, for the teacher community at my school, just to make sure that, um, that uh, the teachers at my school know um, about the benefits of the program and that, um, mm, that they, they will, feel a need, a feel an urge to encourage uh, more and more students to take part in, in the program. Thank you. Thank you very much, Marta. Well, Professor, I would like to ask you because you said so many beautiful things about the benefits for students from the scholarship. And I would like to ask, uh, what is the benefit for you, uh, for, for your career uh, from this? Scholarship. Well, certainly, it's uh, this scholarship is a pretty prestigious thing, to be honest. And I would love also to be able to uh, to um, quote the scholarship when it comes to my professional development, because I'm trying to get this uh, teacher, like diplomovana teacher. Uh, so uh, I'm kind of uh, I'm trying to build a, a nice port portfolio of activities of uh, various activities, and uh, I hope that. In particular, this scholarship uh, will help me in this um, area. Yeah, and you were talking about technology and knowledge. Uh, uh, that's really interesting topic nowadays. What do you think about uh, chat GPT uh, as far as, you know, teaching <laughs> and learning? Yeah, we've been hotly debating the topic with our students and um, I'm of the opinion that it might prove to be a great chance for the development of knowledge. And um, I remember that people feared, uh, you know, Google, right? And uh, obviously there were certain, and there still are certain instances of abuse of uh, Google. But I guess that um, as soon as we learn how to operate and how to um, use this tool with a certain ethical um, mindset as well, um, it will help us to uh, to move um, knowledge further, and it will help us to develop our knowledge. So I'm I'm pretty optimistic about the tool, and I hope that it will prove to be um, a meaningful contribution to to the whole educational process as well. Thank you, thank you very much. Thank you very much, um, uh, Professor. Let's imagine a situation. Uh, we are in a Google. And uh, after a meeting uh, with uh, some Google executives, um, the, 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 the chief uh, HR director of Google approaches you and asks, uh, uh, Professor Potochna, can you recommend me 
out of this group of 50, only five uh, students with whom <clears throat> we want to continue cooperation. Uh, mm -hmm. How you create the list based on which features? If you could give me uh, three, uh, three features of uh, the most important features of, of those students that you are going to recommend. Mm -hmm. but to me, one of, the, one of the key features would be uh, open-mindedness, which means that uh, I would like these students to um, be ready to um, rethink uh, the, 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 the ideas that they already have and uh, be able to be ready to, uh, to listen, be able to verify uh, their opinions or the, um, the, the knowledge that they already have. And, uh, and certainly, well, all of the students that are taking part in the scholarship are uh, very well-rounded uh, people and uh, with solid uh, education. So I, hope, I think that, you know, a matter of, of, of knowledge is not a, a key thing here. I mean, it is a key thing, but it's kind of out of question. Um, so I, I, I'm, I'm, I would be looking for students that are uh, ready to learn, that are open to new um, situations, and that are able to approach the um, knowledge in a critical way, so to be able to to um, to expand, but also to change uh, certain ideas that they might actually already be holding. Okay. Thank you very much. It's Thanks. time for the feedback, uh, Piotr. Yes, I, I really appreciate your being with us, and uh, I feel uh, uh, I feel that your your students are very very good uh, uh, person who is a facilitator, really facilitator, and uh, this is pretty uh, important to me. Yes, I, I, I feel it uh, very deeply and uh, thank you for, for this and really congratulate you for, for your perspective and, and for your students. Thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> thank you very much, Marta. Uh, well, Professor, I'm impressed how, uh, how you presented yourself and my feedback would be really great in terms of the kind of person that you uh, seems to have the, the safe space right <laughs> around you so thank you very much for the presentation it was great thank you so much i also thank you for uh, your excellent presentation and for everything you, you do for for students uh, because thanks to you they may achieve great things thank you very much uh, i have so much. A, a feedback uh, for our uh, committee I, I feel very sorry about us uh, because we have to deal with excellent teachers uh, and uh, out of uh, uh, such a group of excellent teachers, we need to select only two. Uh, and, uh, so I, I'm, I'm really I sorry for us. I don't think that's possible. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, uh, you should convince, you know, you should convince the inventor <laughs> to provide more opportunities for teachers as well. <laughs> Uh, I, I hope we can collect um, uh, more money for spons from sponsors uh, mm -hmm. and then we take the whole group uh, to, that will be just perfect. to the eastern coast and, and to some other places. We are working on that, uh, but unfortunately Fingers it crossed. already in September. <laughs> um, my advice is um, if you could encourage your friends and students to vote for you uh, in the internet, um, okay. Because, as I can see, uh, the, those uh, those votes uh, from students, they, they will decide. Yeah. Uh, okay. They will really decide. And, uh, you will learn the results uh, in more or less one week, rather a little bit more. Okay. Than... Fine. Once again, That's thank fine. you very much. Thank you so much. It's thank been you. a wonderful um, opportunity. Thank you so much. Thank you. Bye. Goodbye.